Hi, everyone. This is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome to a timeless collective love reading. This is for all signs. If you found this message, it's meant for you and any sign of the person that you have been thinking of. Please use these readings to manifest the love that you are worthy and deserving of or to confirm a love that has come into your life. Let's call in our spirit guide. Spirit, if you can please share with me any messages of love that need to be heard today. What is it that you want us to hear? I am listening for you now. Let's see what we have. I have kindness. Absolutely. A sense of kindness. Boy, I want somebody in my life that's kind. I think that that is probably one of the best qualities that somebody could have, that they're they're just good to you. Their kindness, you know, shows their kindness to your family, to your friends, to strangers, you know, maybe that's what spirit's letting you know. It's one of their best qualities. So we want that, your kindness, um, eliminating negativity, okay? Eliminating negativity and also the sense of worry is how that just came into me. The sense of, you know, I don't want to have worry on my plate and the things that I worry about are probably things that are negative and energy. So, we want to try to release that. We want to try to let that go, focus on the positive, all of those things that we work on. And let's get one more. Listen to your body. I'm going to say listen to your body, listen to your heart, listen to your soul. Um, it's almost like a gut feeling that you're going to receive. It's almost a feeling of I am um, in tune with kind of mind, body, soul. And if this is a new connection or a connection that's come into your life, I feel like, you know, your body's going to tell you, you know, where it's headed and, and how this is un unfolding and how it's going. So I want you to just listen, you know, listen to your inner voice, your body, your mind, your soul, all of those things. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. Please remember to hit that like button, comment below. Spirit, please share with me this sense of kindness. I, I want to know this kind, uh, kind heart. I have an eight of wands. I'm going to move, I'm going to read these uh, keywords. This particular deck does have some keywords. So let's, let's grab those. Events moving at a fast pace. Delays are over. Many things are happening at once. Many things are happening at once. Um, boy, that's kind of jumping out at me. Um, there's a sense of a lot of activity around you. Um, maybe this energy is coming into you um, when you have a lot on your plate or you know, it's kind of crazy that this person's coming into your life at this time, or there's just a lot of energy around this connection, you know, whether it's, we're spending a lot of time together, we're, we're chatting, we're going places, um, we're being pulled in a thousand different directions. Uh, so I, I want to see what that means. I have a life experience. This is my tower Okay, so Archangel Shamuel and a significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change. Time to spread your wings. Absolutely. Arms wide open. Time to spread your wings. This this could be all happening all at the same time. You know that I just ended something and somebody new came into my life. And sometimes they happen at about the same time or in a very short period of time for people. And then you're kind of, you know, like, wow, my life is just changing in so many different ways. New people and endings and new beginning. And I don't know, just I feel like it's just kind of this whirlwind of energy. Um, and then a queen of earth, I have, that is my queen of pentacles. Make time for those around you. Take a sensible approach. Deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. So there's that sense of kindness again, the queen of pentacles, thoughtful, creative, warm, right? So there is a sense of building. There is a sense of, um, I want to say groundedness also, because whatever this whirlwind is that's coming into you, I feel that it's, um, I don't want to say it's a struggle. I just feel like it's making your head spin, you know, just this feeling of what, um, you know, where is this going? And it's all coming in so fast. 
spirit please share with me some more energy about this um, particular whirlwind energy what is it that you need me to hear i have a knight of pentacles i have an eight of pentacles i have a hermit and i have a six of swords so this is somebody who does want to put some time and energy into you. This is somebody who um, is coming out of something. I, I definitely feel the coming out of something, moving on from something. You could be um, coming out of this or they could be. But I feel like the timing is tighter for one of you. One of you may have been alone for a longer period of time and the other one like just came out of something. So, But I do want to work on this and I do want to put some time and effort into this. I want to move further and further away from whoever I've left behind. I'm definitely ready to kind of move on with my life. I want somebody, look at all the security. Whoever this is, it's, it's, it's so much more secure than what you had. The relationship that you may have been in, maybe that person had nothing to offer you. You know, they just weren't going anywhere. They didn't have... Uh, their act together. Maybe they were struggling financially. Um, this person that's coming into your life is a much more secure connection. And it's more along the lines of what you've hoped for. Look at bottom of the deck. It's more along the lines of somebody who brings you a sense of comfort and peace and peace of mind and a feeling of um, long, I'm going to say long-term security, you know, for those of you that you know, you don't want to bounce around all the time. You want to be with somebody and yeah, long-term security and long-term emotions, because it's just a feeling of somebody coming into your life that um, it is, I'm going to say whatever you left behind, there was like turmoil or I, the best way for me to say it is they didn't have their act together um, and some somebody has more to offer, you know, and that's what I want you to look at, you know, is you know, the person who, you know, you bring a lot to the table too. you're bringing your heart and you're a hard worker and you're ambitious and you're trying to keep your act together and all of those things. And if you've got like a partner in life who's just kind of going for a ride um, you start to resent that person and there's not enough to hold on to in the relationship because only one person is really, you know, taking care of the relationship. So this is much more secure. This is secure, happy home, happy life, emotional security. So I just feel like whoever you moved on from, um, they're putting you in a place of, of just in a better place with a better, uh, stronger relationship. Let's get some clues. Let's grab a couple of clues. Let's see what spirit has for us. The letter J. If you don't see your person's initials, don't worry about it. This is a general reading. I have an H. I have a Y. I feel like I want to say happy. <laughs> I feel like I want to say happy. Um, sexy. Okay. They think you're sexy. You think they're sexy. I'll take that. Uh, the letter K. The letter W, I have, they're funny, they make you laugh, you know, so in addition to um, a sense of security, uh, whether it's financial or emotional or all of the above, there's a sense of I'm having a good time, I feel attracted to this person, they're attracted to me, we're having a good time, I love that, the letter B, I have maybe somebody has a piercing. I love uh, mouth. I always see as a beautiful smile. So we'll grab that beautiful smile and look for a tattoo. That could be a sign. So somebody could have a tattoo. One of you, anything about their personality spirit you want to share with me that may jump out or to look for. What do you have? I have just chilling. Okay. Hanging with friends, living in the now. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm going to say that, you know, when they're off duty, because I do feel like this person is secure. Um, I'm going to say when they're off duty, they probably don't like to have a lot on their plate. Maybe they have a demanding job. So the days that they're off, they don't like to put a lot on their plate. They just want to kind of relax and hang out and, you know, do something kind of casual, hang out with some friends, go, go run some errands, you know, do some things that they like to do. So I don't, I feel like they just like to be kind of off duty when they're not working. Um, workaholic. Yeah. Cause I feel like they work hard. I do. I feel like they are 
you know, making plans for the future. They have um, goals, they have ambition. So when they're not working, it, it's very much of like, I just got to chill today. I've got to just, you know, have some downtime, even if it's just, you know, one day or in the evenings or whatever it is. So I do feel like this person's very ambitious, um, hardworking, the boss, successful. They could own their own business and aren't entrepreneur. They could have um, thoughts of owning their own business or starting their own business even is coming into me. But I do feel success. Absolutely. I feel success around this connection. So on both sides, I'm going to say you both have success. I have beautiful. I have a gentleman. I have respectful, elegant, honorable. So we've got, I'm going to go back a second, for, just for a second. I've got my sexy and funny, right? And I felt like, I felt, you know, it's almost like a, a mix of somebody who has, I guess, a lot of different traits, right? They've got this, um, you know, this beautiful energy of I'm funny, I'm, I'm sexy, I'm a gentleman, um, I'm respectful, you know, so there's like a little bit of everything. Okay. I mean, this can be a woman too. For those of you that watch me, you know that I can, you can interact anything that is um, male or female, you know, that doesn't matter, you know, it, but this just this sense of respect, elegance, honor, right? That could be masculine or feminine energy. But you've got a you've got a gentleman coming into your life that is making you laugh or having a good time. Like let's have a good time. And sometimes that's really what it comes down to, especially if you're coming out of something, you know, and you're trying to just move on and you want to have a good time. I mean, this is definitely um, a good time. <laughs> I'm going to say it that way. This is definitely a good time. Somebody who I'm having fun with spirit. Any, any clues as to when, any clues as to when, what do you have for me? Um, amazing chemistry, terrible timing. I'm kind of in agreement with the terrible timing only in the sense of that, it is a feeling of um, many things are happening at once, okay? And we are excited about this connection and we're having fun with it, but it feels like there's a lot going on. I, I'm not sure what it is, whether it's a move or I'm, I changed, I had, a, I had a change everything in my life, you know? So I just feel like if the timing was a little better, like you might not feel settled and then this energy comes in. But just remember, you don't get to decide when or who you fall in love with. It comes to you like in God's timing. So um, I am in agreement with that a little bit today. You have the power to create the timing by you can slow this down if the timing isn't right for you. If you need to get some other things done in your life. Few weeks. I need a month to get settled. I just need some time to myself. Call me. Call me in a few weeks. Whatever it is. Um, going too fast. Slow down to take your time. It could be going too fast because I feel like there is this whirlwind of energy around this connection. So one of you may decide that I do want to slow this down a little bit. I, I just, there's too many kind of moving parts and pieces all at the same time. Um, and if we're looking for something that's a long-term connection, then this person's going to be willing to wait if they think you're the right one. So don't worry about that either. Let's see what else they're saying. Your dreams are about to come true. Beautiful. Have faith. Your rainbow will um, come sailing through, Look, smiling through. I like sailing too, smiling through. Um, dreams come true. We all believe in dreams come true. Let's claim that today. Um, even if this comes in as a whirlwind, it could be my dream. It could be what I'm looking for. It could be what I'm manifesting. I'll take it when it arrives. Your dreams are about to come true. I deserve my dreams to come true. That could be your claim today. Uh, something along those lines. 
Um, there's great magnetism. There's an irresistible gravitational pull towards each other. So we want that, you know, we want the person that it's fun, it's exciting, it's sexy. Um, and then we want behind the scenes or that under layer, that foundation, that it's also has more to offer than what you had before. It has a foundation of security of some kind. And then there's a burning desire, flames of passion unite. So I have this beautiful energy of, I want to be with you. I can feel you. I want to, um, I'm okay with this connection. I do want to move forward with this connection. They had said it's a good time. I'm having fun. Um, it just may be a lot going on for some reason. There's just a lot in your life going on. It could be totally not related to relationships too. It could be, you know, my, my, somebody in my, I'm taking care of some family members. I've got children, I've got, you know, work issues. Uh, you know, there could be, it could be just a lot on your plate when this love arrives. So we'll keep that in mind. Think about your future. Think about what it is. This is love coming in. Look at this. Somebody who's willing to put some time and energy and also, I feel like break down this barrier of, you know, that you didn't feel secure in the past for some reason with someone else. They didn't have a sense of long term investment in the relationship or they weren't interested in buying a home or being married or they weren't financially secure themselves. Whereas this connection has something more to offer. At least you see that it has a lot more potential. I'll say that. Yeah, there's the, you know, there's something to be said for the person who's hardworking, right? And making a choice to go with the person that kind of does all the right things and putting something else to an end and making that choice for yourself. In the beginning, they had said, you know, that they want you to trust your gut. They want you to listen. They want you to, you know, understand, you know, what it is that you are deserving and, and accepting of what's important to you, what's what is going on within you um, and being crystal clear about what it is that you want. Um, and it's just a matter of time that this energy is coming into your life is how I feel. And then the choice is going to be yours and <laughs> bottom of the deck. I have a fool. So ace of swords you're going to make the right decision i feel like this person's ready to start the new journey with you i do i feel like they are um i feel like they're more crystal clear than you are i feel like they are either been alone a little bit longer than you have been um and they're crystal clear that they want to move forward with you but at the same time i also feel like they're they're patient and they're saying you take care of what you got to take care of i get it um, and but I'm not going anywhere and I, I do want to I do want to spend more time with you. So I'm going to I'm going to say that that's really good. Let's get some love messages. Spirit, what is it that you need us to hear? I feel you are my soulmate. OK, so we see something in this connection. I'm ready to share my true feelings with you. The person who comes forward and is honest you know, that ace comes in and they say, I have something to tell you. OK, I see something in you. I see a long term um, connection. I have I, I can see a future with you. I can see a happy home with you. Um, whatever it is that they're ready to say that they're going to say. But whoever this is, I do not feel like they're the type of person that's going to be holding back on their feelings. I mean, it's somebody that is going to be able to express their feelings. I've been holding back my true feelings for you. So they may hold back in the beginning. Look at that. Okay. I feel like you're not quite ready. I feel like when this comes in, you say, this is all really fun. I'm enjoying this, but I just came out of something. I don't know what I want. I feel like it's you that isn't sure. So maybe you're holding back your feelings also. So one of you has a tendency to really want to move forward with this. And the other one's a little hesitant for some reason. So we'll, we'll just hold on to that for a minute. I'm afraid to get hurt. 
I'm healing some old wounds. So it could be I'm just holding back on jumping in fast to something. I don't want to express my feelings. I, I just walked away from a long term relationship or I'm just repairing my life. I wasn't expecting to meet you at this time. Um, I still have some healing to do. So I do feel like there's a lot of that going on. And and again, going back to what Spirit shared with me, that everything is happening all at once, like a whirlwind of energy. So um, I admit that I'm obsessed with you. You could have somebody that's really starting to have feelings for you. I'm obsessed with you. They definitely want to make it a point. I am obsessed with you. Two cards in a row. Okay. So this person is is obsessing over you. This person wants to move it a little faster than you're, you want to move it is how I feel. And I'm falling deeply in love with you. So for today, I'm going to say have fun, first of all. OK, because it is a fun. It's a great energy. It's a secure energy. And I want you to have fun with it. And then I want you to take your time if that's what you need. Um, I want you to, you know, just enjoy it. Listen to your gut. They're saying bottom of the deck. I'm really attracted to you. And maybe that's really the stage that we're in right now is that I'm just really attracted to you. And I'm really thinking about where can we go next? You know, where can we go from here? But for now, the attraction is there. And you know what, guys, that's half the battle. That's half the battle is finding somebody that you're attracted to. And then somebody who does have something to offer. I will say that this person has something to offer. And I think that that's important. That message was important to hear today as well. So let's thank Spirit for these messages. Keep manifesting. I want to thank Spirit for these messages. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe. I want you to comment below, claim this reading. It's for you. If anyone is interested in a private reading with me, check out my website at kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.